Hi everybody, it's Rachel from Sage. How are you today? I hope you are well. Wow, I am, it's the end of the working day for me and I've just taken my makeup off, old makeup off, just to put another lot of makeup on for you. And it's very special today, very special indeed. So I purchased from a gum tree. Gum tree is a reseller site here in Australia. Uh, I, I purchased a Dior five color palette, eyeshadow palette from a reseller. And I will insert her details into my description box, but she sells all luxury and high end brands at yeah good prices i've got to say and her service was very good i received this in four days and i live in a remote rural area so that was pretty amazing five days anyway nonetheless yes you can tell you can tell can't you you can just tell right, that's the back so there's a whoops there's a mirror there and the dodgy things that they always put in I don't know why they put them in high-end brand makeup palettes but they do that is the colors they are the colors so there's another piece of insert there so you can actually see them properly now let's put my hand over the mirror so it doesn't shine oh I can do that okay so I'm going to do some arm swatches I've just put some primer my inside of my arm <gasps> the embossing so beautiful and i'm gonna mess it up oh soft super soft okay so there they are there's an almost gold there's that shimmer a champagne there's a satin matte deep brown there's a navy and then there's that beautiful cool mid neutral i'd say mid mid tone brown with a slight shimmer which is typical that one swatched really well with one stroke so let's get it on the eyeball shall we i'm half tempted to use the dodgy little applicators but i don't know if i can just <laughs> if i can bring myself to do it you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try on one eye at least. Oh my gosh, this is so strange. can't believe. So this is actually a brush. So that at least is helpful. Okay, I'm going to do this eye first. All right, I'm going to start with the shade in the middle. Goodbye embossing. There's quite a lot of kick up in the pan there. Oh, I don't, this is, this is quite bizarre using this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty though. That is a beautiful, easy wear shade. I just want to put it everywhere now. Okay, so then I'm going to put that one on the inner corner i might use the other applicator for that the champagne there as an inner corner highlight mm. there we are so far all right, let's go in with the deeper brown in the bottom corner, the cool tone brown. I'm going to use that mini brush again. So when one is used to using, <laughs> you know, full-size makeup brushes. This is a little bit challenging. That's 
the clean side of the brush. Ooh. There's pigment there for sure. Wow, this is beautiful quality. So soft, so soft. Okay, so I'll go over the um, lid a little bit more with that darker brown, just bring it in a bit further. Okay. I'm going to have to clean up the outside for sure and the upper area. I might do a bit of the champagne up under the brow there. Well, it wasn't that long ago this was all we had to use to put our eyeshadow on if you were you know an amateur how on earth are you supposed to put the eyeliner on with these i don't know that one maybe all right so i'm going to go with the blue now as an eyeliner That's nice. I do enjoy that. All right. Let's see if I can clean it up a bit with this. There's a little bit of fallout there with this silly little brush. Oh. I'm going to have to use brushes. Okay. Right, let's do the other eye with with other eye with actual makeup brushes. My dogs have got a case of the zoomies this afternoon. Apologies. my finger for the inner corner highlight as I usually do. You just can't blend with those things. Right, going back in with the deeper brown now, the deepest colour. I don't think I used the gold, did I? I'll put that on the centre lid. The end. No doubt about it, they are... ...wonderful quality. 
and you know this is super wearable if you were just going to buy one eyeshadow palette and wear it every day and if that was me then this is the sort of eyeshadow palette I would go for I would go for something like this because this is my these are my colors So I'll tell you that I paid $60 for this, $60 Australian and $10 postage and I'm pretty sure I still saved about $40. on the recommended retail price. They are, that's Australian dollars, Australian prices. I know Dior is expensive everywhere, but we'd have to be one of the dearest places to try and buy it, I'd say. So much easier with a brush. And like, I've got this weird, uh, unblended section out there that I just can't fix without a clean brush and now I'm going to do and try and do that but you know it was fun to try with the weird tools I think they're weird I actually think that's pretty even all said and done. Yeah, nice. I'm going to go in the gold now as a just a merging shade here. It sort of took out my blue, didn't it? That's really pretty though, my and that's pretty. Let's go back in with a bit more blue. Navy. Love it. Really do, really do. Oh, yum. So here's my finished look. I just put a bit of concealer on, some blush slash bronzer slash highlighter and this amazing lipstick that I really love. It's not high end, but it is luxury looking. <laughs> it's the Color Riche from Noreal. This is a, these are beautiful lipsticks. Uh, shade 110. So, you know, it's French. <laughs> Um, I've never had a Dior makeup product before. I love Dior perfumes, but this is the eyeshadow look. As I said before, if I was only going to, if I was the type of person that was only ever going to buy one eyeshadow and wear it every day, then this is the eyeshadow palette that I would do that with because I'd think, well, I'm only going to buy one. I'm going to travel with this, good hard case not heavy uh, and I can wear it with absolutely everything I own so it's really beautiful I'm so glad I pulled my brushes out for the second eye because the blend is a lot better as you can see it it's not unique obviously this eye look is not at all unique but there's just something about putting on makeup from a luxury brand uh, that just makes you feel really good and I 
I bought this because I was having a particularly difficult day and this was my treat to myself and I'm really glad I did. I looked at other colour stories. The, the reseller had other um, beautiful palettes as well but this was the one that, that really resonated with me and no doubt I will travel with this. I will wear this a lot. This is such a good everyday makeup style that I could wear from day to night. And I think that's that's the idea. That's, that's where Dior and these other brands, high-end brands, they're hitting. They're hitting that market where people want makeup that makes sense, that is easy to use, that's not too big and bulky, um, but you feel a little bit a little bit posh using it and it's just a nice thing to do every day so I'm not telling you to go out and buy Dior not at all but if you are thinking of looking for something like that and you don't have you know the hundred and whatever dollar budget to buy one consider looking on Gumtree if you're in Australia I heard from some people that I communicate with in a Facebook group that in the US there's a, a reseller site called Mercari that sells makeup as well. Have a wonderful day my friend and I will go and see to these crazy dogs that have seemed to have stopped making noise which makes me suspicious. Hmm, I better go and check on them and I will talk to you again soon. My video upload schedule may not be as frequent now that I am back teaching but I will try to do at least two a week and maybe a third if I do a haul or something like that. I wish YouTube would let me do shorts. Apparently I don't qualify for that yet. Thank you for watching as always. Please if you haven't subscribed please subscribe. I will see you again soon I hope. Bye for now.